Welcome back guys, it's Kids Coding Playground here and today we're back for another video on Scratch and today we'll be making this really fun game called Balloon Blaster. So, um, uh, so we haven't recorded lately because of school and, uh, since it just started back up again, so, and now, now we don't have that much time anymore, so, but today I just decided to make a recording and I'm gonna click go. So as you can see, you have 10 seconds to pop all the balloons here. And then you have um, 30 balloons to pop, always 30. So then, and then they're all different colors. So and it says, if you don't make it up in time, you lose. So you can get multiple balloons at once. That. Home your missiles. Okay, okay, I lost again. But uh, so you can home your missiles and like, make them in mid-air, so that's what I thought was pretty cool, so then I could, like, home it, and it looks more, it's more cool, and I have four more seconds left, number of balloons, zero, and then you win, so, yeah, so it's just a pretty fun concept, so yeah, um, anyways, let's get started, so, first, let's make a new project, so, um, so, Let's get started. So first, let's rename this project to uh, Balloon ba Blaster. So, hey, Balloon Blaster. And then, delete the scratch cap. Of course, we never need the scratch cap. Oh yeah, we also want to pick a backdrop real quick. Uh, blue sky, delete that. So, first thing we do is um, go to the backpack, I actually have everything in store. Actually, get the balloon first. Let's get the balloon. So we have the balloon. It's in the scratch thing. Balloon. And then we also get a dart. So uh, feel free to pause here and try to make a same, similar concept. It's just a rectangle with two lines. Hold shift down. Uh, there's the feathers, which is just a rectangle reshaped. You can use rectangle or circle for the feathers, but I decided to use circle. And then a little tip, like an arrow line, and then a triangle. Just delete one half of a square. So I'll show you how to make the triangle. It's not that hard. Just make a square. Hold shift down so it's perfect. And then you go to reshape tool, select one of the corners, backup space, or delete, or whatever you're on. And then delete, and then rotate it. And then you have it. So, yeah. Um, so, okay, I'm going to do a reshape real quick and do the feathers. So, um, I'll teach you how to do the feathers. So, you start with the circle. Kind of like an oval shape, ellipse maybe. And then you drag out, drag in, drag out, drag in, drag out, drag in and drag out, and it's like a hand type of shape. And you put that on the back, some fine reshaping will do it like that, and we have that done, and this done. So now let's get started. So you wanna draw your dart pointing to the right side, cause if you like, um, cause if you, um, uh, and you wanna point it direction zero, cause if you point it up, It'll, and you want to move, make it move steps, it'll move to the right side, not the left side. So that just messes everything up. And now we have to make, uh, I'll make the U in later. But first, let's just focus on the balloon. So the balloon, um, let's get started. So the first thing we do on the balloon is, is the my block. So define, create balloon. And then you want to add an input, one input, you put an X on the first input, second input, put a Y. Oh, I put an H, Y. And then we have X and Y. Okay, so we have our defined X, Y. So you can drag out the X, and you can drag out the Y. So it'll go to X, X, and Y, Y, wherever it is. So... And we have to make create clone of myself because you want to create 
a nice clone for itself. So when I start as a clone, uh, set color effect, set color effect, uh, what's that, to pick random 1 to 300. So there's a variety of colors that you can pick from. Uh, oh, I just didn't see it. So that's like some type of electric green there. So that's what we're having here. And then you have a wait until it's touching the dart because the balloon will hide once it touches the dart, right? So wait until touching dart. And then uh, start sound pop. So every single spray has a pop sound, so it should be easy to find. And then change number of balloons. So we're going to make a variable number of balloons and then we okay this and then we have change change var change variable number of balloons by negative one so the every single time uh the dart hits the balloon it'll go down one of the balloon uh little filter here will go down by one so let me drag this down so that's what we're having here. And then um, hide, because the clone will hide. And then if then, if then the number of balloons equals zero, which means if all the balloons are gone, broadcast you win. I'm actually gonna make that you win sprite real quick. Uh, and the you lose sprite. So I'm gonna don't mind me while I make this. So text. Uh, let's start with a you lose because it's already on the red color. So you lose, and then just yeah, you know the deal. So then yeah, you have this, and then you duplicate it. And make you win, but then you. So now I'm gonna make the you win sprite. So we wanna take this whole thing, go over here, change it to a green color, and now we have the you win and the you lose finish ready. So go back to the balloon, and then if number of balloons equals zero, oh yeah, we have to go back to the balloons real quick. Number of balloons equals zero, then broadcast you win. So that if you popped all the balloons, you win. Let's work on you win later on in this video when we start coding the dart and everything. So, yeah, let's have you win for on the side for right now. And then when the green flag is clicked, it will set number of balloons to 30. So I have 30 balloons here, so yes. And show... And then repeat number of balloons. So we just take this, go to variables, number of balloons. It's because there's 30 balloons, so number of balloons. And then create balloon. So this is the hard part. So I'm gonna move this over a little bit. All right, so now we have some the spare space for this. Oh, uh, so the create balloon, um, we'll pick random. So pick a random position because, uh, but it's near the top. So negative 200 to 200, which is the X here. So negative 200 back here and negative positive 200 over here. So the balloons can be over, over here to over here, but we don't want that to, we don't want balloons to like spawn in the dart or like go over here or here because you can't get those. So we have to have a pick random. 50 to 135 that's the um x that uh y that we're using here so 50 to 135 so it's like around this area that the balloons can start spawning at so we have the balloons done once we have this hide let's see so look, we got multicolored balloons tons of them so yeah so now we're gonna start working on Oh yeah, and the balloons are too big, so let's just change their size. 50, yay. Now let's play it. 
Oh. Uh, Easy. So, Multicolored building. Right now, the dart hasn't coded yet, so we have to code the dart. So, when the green flag is clicked, it will show. It will show because you always want to show it. And then, we're not using clones for this one because we thought it would be uh, more compatible with the other things. So, go to X0, negative 110, that's around this area. And then point in direction zero. Remember when I told you when you have to put the dart to the right side? You want to point it up, right? Because it's more compatible. Because if you want to, if you make the dart go like precisely up, and you want to make it move steps, it'll go right. So you want to make it point in direction zero, so that it'll go up instead of right. So and now we go to forever, and then we need a if then if the left arrow key is Oh, oh yeah, also if you prefer um, using WASD or something like that, uh, I don't mind you changing this to A or D. So when the, when the key left arrow is pressed, it will change X by 10. Where is that? Because it will keep on going up and up and up. Oh, negative 10. Yeah, so you can move it back and forth because negative 10 is this way. Positive 10 is this way, so yeah, and we just have to duplicate this do some time fine-tuning and key right arrow Then it will change X by 10 so there we have it and now we have to have the space key and all of that finished so when the space key is pressed you want to repeat until So, um, when the space key is pressed, it'll repeat until it's touching the edge. Wait, wait, wait. This is the tricky part. You need to and, I'll explain it in the end, touching edge and Y position is greater than 150. Move my position. You want to know why? Because um, if you want to home your dart and you accidentally scroll to the left or the right, it'll delete, right? Because it'll repeat until touching the edge. But you have to make it until it's over Y position 150 and it will delete. And 150 is around here, right? So if you put the dart and then you move it up, it'll delete only if it's greater than 150 so it's around here all throughout here so then because if you did it on the right side or the left side it would just if you want to home it it would just delete right there so that is really bad if you want that if you don't want that to happen copy the code down and now we move 20 steps because remember we uh, point the direction to zero because it's pointing the up because we made it right side, and if we don't want to make it go right, then we have to point, make it go this way, and then we change the direction to zero, and then it'll start going up. So move 20 steps per, yeah, so we'll move 20 steps, and then it'll hide, and wait 0 0.2 seconds, because there's a small wait, because we don't want, you know, like, overlapping darts, and it'll go to x0, y negative 110 and it will show so we have that done now our last thing we have to code next is the you win you lose sprite so you win when the green flag is clicked it will hide and it will go to x zero zero because you know you didn't win or lose yet so it'll go to the middle and it'll hide so and then when i receive you win You have to switch costume to costume two because that's the winning costume, and then it will show. See, look, winning costume, and a uh, stop all. We have some extra code for the backdrop. I literally forgot about it. It's about if you lose. So when the green flag is clicked, oh, I, uh, you want to. 
set time, new variable, time, set time to 10 seconds. So you have 10 seconds and repeat 10 times because you have 10 of that variable and then it'll wait one second and decrease by one every single time. So when you run out of time, you lose. So set time. Oh, oh no, never mind. No change time. Change time. I always forget to change. Change time by minus one. So every second, your time will go down because, yeah, every single second, your time goes down. So when the green flag is clicked, it'll go forever. And then if then the time equals zero, then you lose. New broadcast. New message here. Uh, new broadcast message. Broadcast. You lose. So we have that, and then um, feel free to pause if you haven't caught up yet. And then you go back to the you win sprite, and then when you receive you lose. You switch costume to costume one because that's the you lose right show and stop wall. So let's see my project here. So uh oh yeah, I forgot to move the time. Okay, get out of here. Move the time down here, and yeah, and I'd also like to add some music because I haven't added the music. Um. Uh, so let's add some music. Uh, just get the sound. Uh, let's just pick a random loop. How about chill? Yeah, chill. That one sounds pretty good. And play sound chill until done. And then set volume. You don't actually have to. I no. You don't actually have to set the volume, but you know, since I'm talking and stuff, you know, set it to 25 or something. So yeah, uh, let's. Get started, and let's see if it works or not. I moved the time to the bottom, if you didn't notice. And look, the time is decreasing by the seconds, and um, uh, you can launch your dart, and it's obviously popping the balloons. And the you lose works. Look, I lost. And then number of balloons, 30. If you want to win, you got to break all the balloons in time. So let's see what I have here. No, I'm going to lose up. No. Yeah, I won, sorry, so you win, and then number of balloons equals zero, so you win. So, click like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below what else videos you want. And remember, um, see you guys next time.